Hey guys, Lulu Beauty here. Welcome back to my channel. And again, the girl is about to go to work, so she just put a beat together. Now, I must admit, I did a little bit more than I typically do because we be masked up. So I'm like, why did I? But I don't know, I kind of just went with the wind. I went with whatever. I was feeling so this is how it came out now if you are interested in seeing this look let me know or if you just trying to chit chat let me know because that's some there's that's there's a lot of that here today too so keep on watching bye hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm just gonna do a real quick uh, skin prep so I'm using the Fenty skin fat water right now uh what a week but i just want to do a quick uh skin prep before i start i know that's new for me but we got to start somewhere and then i'm gonna do the ula true serum i like this serum because it definitely brightens the skin. The smell smells great. Um, it smells like a burst of oranges, honestly. And I don't know, there's something about the texture that I really like that kind of makes, like, I see a difference when I use this, like, first before I do my, um, my, uh, my foundation. So I do like this. And then I'm going to put on the Hydra Visor. Love this. My skin actually loves this. Like, I do different um, ones, like, at night or during the day. This one definitely just stays consistent. For sure. So I switched my um, office around, so I'm trying recording like this. I like how it's a lot closer. Oh, my eye cream is flash nap, by the way. So about to do that. Real quick. So I did my brows, they're up and ready, up and running, and um, I wanted to do my tapes today, but we'll do it for another day, because <laughs> I'm a little bit in a rush. So I'm going into the store today, it's Thursday, and um, I want to do the, like a brown smoke really quickly so I'm using the shake primer by KBD and you know what I'm gonna probably do I was gonna do my Mario palette but I don't know I feel like I'm having a little bit of a change of heart so I might just do um, the number nine palette I don't know let's see but it's early. It's like 10 a.m. here in New York on a Thursday. And I can't believe that October is almost up. It's done. It's almost done. It's crazy how fast this is going. And um, next month is November. And that's your girl's birthday. Sag all day, baby. Um, <laughs> I'm at the end of the month. So this year, my birthday's on Thanksgiving. And... Um, me and my friends are actually going away. We're going to Mexico. So I'm going to be vlogging next month. I will, yes, next month um, for the month of November. So I'm excited about that because that was something I've been thinking about and something new I want to do and try. So I'm happy about it. Yeah. 
we're going to Tulum me and my four friends um, three of my friends um, that looks good. and it's gonna be fun we have like all this stuff organized like we got a Airbnb we got a yoga instructor coming in we got some chefs coming in it's gonna be a really nice experience and I'm super excited because I actually never went away from my birthday because it's holiday time so I'm happy to be able to do that I'm so thankful um, I'm not gonna be away on my birthday but I'm definitely I'm going the week before and I'm so thankful it's good so I'm excited and um it's gonna be a lot of fun I am actually really excited to like just get away and have a break <laughs> that's I mean like I, I know like you're probably thinking like doesn't everybody want to do that but I'm like yeah granted but I mean while it's cold while it's getting cold in New York City I'm excited to be able to do that so so when in doubt I love to do brown liner I mean brow um brown eyeshadow and I'm like you're probably thinking like who doesn't but seriously for me it just it takes a lot of the stress out from getting ready you know so i'm excited about that but that's all i'm gonna do like a little under smoke add a little who is texting me kenya said you gave her some skincare a long time ago but she can't remember a girl i that was a long time ago i don't remember like you know when people add, call like text and ask you like for stuff that you like girl like why didn't you write it down <laughs> I can't help you out but yeah that's what I'm doing so right now I actually came down from like posting like trying to post twice a week I think in the world real world for me it's realistic for me to do it once a week right now especially because work is getting really busy for me and I want to at least be able to post one time a week because this is just like a my creative outlet outside of my job because my job requires me to be very creative but on their terms I guess I don't know if that makes sense but on their terms for show so I just want to be able to like still create chat talk connect with you guys as much as possible because i've noticed that even like today i'm going into work but doing like a little chat with you guys and talking it's like oh it just fills my cup in a major way and i just absolutely love it so i'm applying concealer Like up in here. I must say my lashes have lasted long. Like hell, I got a feeling like almost two weeks ago. And like she's still alive and well. And we'll take it <laughs> for sure. Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm using the Makeup Forever concealer. I had put it down for a while and I was like, I'm not using it. But now I'm using it and I'm like, yeah. I used it for my brows. And things like that. So, yeah. I'm gonna leave my eyes alone for a second because I don't know what I'm gonna do past here. And I am running a little late, so I wanna just make sure I at least get my complexion done as much as possible. So I don't know, it's gonna be different. Um for a holiday for me. 
holidays always get very difficult like around for me uh, nowadays because um, my mom's not here so I'm really curious or I want to know I need to plan something I'm planning a lot of things right now and maybe that's why I've been like kind of back burning this but I need to plan something because I would like to enjoy maybe being with some type of family and some friends to kind of like get myself out the funk um i'm definitely going to be with my brother um uh, for those who don't know my brother and i are like best friends well me and my siblings are best friends like we're very very close they call me i literally just got off the phone with my sister i speak to my sister probably like minimum twice a week so they are very much involved in my life and what I do. So obviously my first thought is like, oh, what are my siblings doing? I want to do whatever they're doing. But my sister lives in Georgia right now. So I don't think I'm flying to Georgia. But I am going to, obviously we're going to be on the phone. We're going to chat. Um, maybe she need an iPhone for sure. But she loves Android. But um, we're going to be doing that. I'm using a number nine palette. I know I just said I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was going to let it hold, but it literally just came into my mind. And I said, all right, I'll do that. So that's what I'm doing. Put in a number nine palette from Fenty. I'm doing this shade right here. That's This is like one of my favorite palettes. Like, I always have it. I travel with it because it literally is my favorite palette. The color, I'm like... Colors, I will do that forever. I'll do that forever. I love how... <laughs> so it's to the point, like, I do the same thing. Y'all already know what I'm about to do. Because when in doubt, this is what I do. Yeah. Just blending that out. I like trying I wanted to try something new in my room and I think I kind of do like being faced this way uh, especially during the day I don't not sure how it would be when I start filming at night but I like being faced this way I think it really works for me okay so I don't know I wasn't sure if I was gonna do the skin tint or the Pat McGrath not sure but i'm gonna do something i'm i i just i'm not i was like kind of confused conflicted today i was like what am i gonna do today am i doing are we giving full beat with the mask on like you know what i mean i'm like am i giving full beat with the mask on or am i just like what are we doing what's the plan so the primer i'm using is the ula henderson banana bright blurring primer I wanted to use that first. I wanted to do something, keep it kind of lightweight. I always try to use like, I do pat my graph like when I'm going out. But I don't know, I think I'm feeling pat today. So I'm going to wear her. I'm going to wear her today. You know, I'm going to do it with my fingers. Let's see. I love, but you know what I really like about the foundation? I'm mad. Okay, first let's just say I'm mad that I've slept on it for so long. You know, because my skin's oily. I made up every excuse why I shouldn't be getting it and why I shouldn't be wearing it. But I would definitely say it has become one of my favorite foundations because I love the texture of it. I love the way it feels when I apply it. And I believe that it gives me pretty decent coverage, like for show. It gives me very much of a decent coverage. Cause I I haven't really been trying to do full on coverage. So that's what I think what I really like about it, because I don't like doing full coverage like I used to. 
I I rather play around with my concealers and stuff to do a full on coverage. But I feel like it does it. And the color I wear, I wear medium 21. So I lost my tan, so it works right now. Opposed to when I was like, oh man, I think I got it too light. And it was because my tan, like I had, a, I, I went on vacation in June and I got this like in May. And I know people are like, why are you putting concealer? I'm a kind of girl, I like to put concealer on top of my foundation because I uh, like to give my foundation the opportunity to do a stay and cover. As much as possible. You see I'm in a rush so I forgot to do this thing I was using I was actually I'm just gonna mix it in there so I've been putting the um, eyeshadow primer with my concealer because it has been stopping it from creasing and I'm like into it I'm like yes no crease I typically crease right up in here and it's just like a mess because it's like I'm wearing the mask, I'm doing a little bit of creasing, and of course I've tried doing different things to stop the creasing from happening. And yeah, I'll get less creasing, but I'm not getting like, I'm not getting, you know, the, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> It'll crease a little bit. Not as much, but a little bit. So I'm really on that hunt to find that flawless, like non-creasing ever. So. And I get that with the uh the um with the primer, but that's only if I remember to do it first. When I kind of mix it in, like what I just did. I honestly say I don't know if it does the like the best of job, but it does something. It definitely does something. So that was the conceal the concealer I just used was the um hourglass in the maple. So I'm just gonna go over with my with my um makeup forever concealer lately I've been feeling like really tired <laughs> I don't know if it's like me working a lot and I it's interesting because I've been seeing that a lot like a lot of people feel like they're really they're feeling like much tired and things like that and I feel very much the same I feel very tired I feel very fatigued at times um, and I think it's like me doing a hybrid model like right now I'm half partial in the store and then partially I'm working from home of course right so what I what I've noticed is that I do get a little tired like I I do feel a little fatigue at times and I don't know it kind of bothers me at because I'm like am I tired like what's the deal 
so like waking up working out you know doing my day i feel like like right now it's what 10 about to be 11 o'clock i'm about to head into store i'm going back and forth and i'm like yeah i'm i'm, I'm feeling it i'm recording so it's just like i think it's a lot of doing a lot of busy work and that's what's kind of getting me to that space of like oh i'm tired i want to take a nap i want to break like you know little things like that for sure So that's the concealer so far. Looks pretty good. So I'm just kind of still trying to blend it out. And typically, I don't even put this much makeup on to go into the store. Let's just be honest. I'm just saying I don't ever. Um, today, I was just kind of feeling that. Like, oh, I want to do a little bit more. I was watching some tutorials and I was like, you know, inspired to do so. so. And I'm sorry if I'm going back and forth a little bit because I am like rearranging my office. And... It's kind of like tight in here right now. Because I'm trying to get rid of some stuff. So, um, I feel like I'm a little tight in here. So... Excuse me if I'm like bending here doing that. Because she is trying to get ready for a new year. So I look at the new year as my birthday. I know I've mentioned this before. Oh, yeah. So, like, you see, this is what happens. Like, it's starting to crease up, and that's driving me insane because actually, it's like creasing worse. <laughs> Oh, why? Oh! It drives me literally insane. And it's like, you can't move it. It doesn't move. Ugh. Let's see if I can fix it. what to like that's probably why sometimes like with um when i look at some of the other tutorials like i like to set my eyes with a powder first and then set it with a like a with a like a foundation powder and then i set it i don't know i i feel like i get a better look but you know it's the first time for everything and i'm trying to kind of try different things so just I just know now not to try that one <laughs> for sure like don't do that one Lou because that one did not work out for you today like oh but a girl gotta go so she's gonna have to do what she has to do so I'm setting my face with a powder with the fit me powder in 334 and I want to put more content like this together like because it's just like this is me on a day to day like I'm trying to like at times it's very tutorially and stuff like that but me on a day to day basis it's like I'm trying to get out the door um or trying to sit in my office and be get my tests done because I don't like to sit in my office i don't know till after 6 p.m it's just like why am i sitting here after 6 p.m i'm not sure i wake up at so early why am i still sitting here 
and it's just like at times I can barely be like working a lot and working hard and I get that but you know you have to have a final place to stop like okay when am I gonna stop like when is the day like when am I closing up my day and I really find that that's really important to me because I want to have a, a family and I want to have like certain things, but I, you have to make room for that. So there needs to be a point where you're like, you need to have a stop, like a hard stop. Like, no, I'm not doing anything past this time. And that's my goal in life. And I feel that I have some sense of, I had that before, but it's still like an adjusting, you know, it just takes, takes time. And you know, I do believe, I don't believe in a traditional work-life balance, but I do believe that you make time for what you need to make time for at that, at that time. I know that might sound like we're very repetitive, but you guys kind of, I hopefully you guys pick up what I'm putting down, but I just, just believe that. I believe that we can always, we can always be busy and we can always, you know, be productive all day long. But it's just like, who are you making time for? Or what are you making time for? Are you even making time for yourself? So that's what I struggle with. So at times, like, I don't believe like work, 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 work. Like, no, I don't. It may appear that way to some people, but it's because I try to be productive in those hours in a major way. So it's just like, you know, like this morning I woke up, I said, you know what? I want to do a video. So I'm going to do it. Well, no, last night. I was like, I want to do a video in the morning. So I'm like, you see guys what I'm doing? <laughs> you guilty for it too. You do it too. But yeah, like, you know, I wanted to do a video. So I'm like, oh, I have to make room for it. I know I have like trainings going and being on calls, but I need to make a little bit of time because this is my happy place this is my time where i feel like oh i was really productive i put a video together i'm really happy about that um and so i definitely put a like i'm looking at the mirror and talking like i'm definitely put on a lot more but it doesn't look that bad i'm kind of happy but um yeah, like you, I want to be able to just make that time for what I want to make time for. And I know that's not like every day. Obviously, you have to swallow like the bullet and do what you have to do. And I get that. But when you do that all the time, you're not really making room for a happy life. I feel that. I feel like you're not really making room for a happy life because you're not making time to you know just breathe and have a moment you know you're not you're not doing that for yourself and i just think that's really important that you do that for yourself you make that happen for yourself the smallest thing will make the biggest difference i just think it's important like i think it's important i want to have that for my life i want that for everyone that in my life i want that for you i want you to be making time for you um as much as possible and yeah that's how i feel like i feel like we need to kind of make room to make ourselves happy for sure you know what i mean and i think that's what life is worth living that's when you realize like oh wow i have a life life is worth living blah 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 like you know what i mean because you have things to do you're making time for yourself you're making some me time you're doing a lot for yourself too so i think that's important and i want that for everybody i want that for you i want that for me i want that for everyone so that's my spiel for the day before i go to work <laughs> I, I want that for everybody and i hope you guys make the time i'm doing some anastasia mascara at the bottom it's like the closest thing here And having little chats like this while I'm doing my makeup definitely fills my cup, especially when I'm about to go to work because I get to sprinkle that onto someone else. Like I get to give that to someone else while I'm working because it's just like, yo, make some time. You you coming in here and shopping and wanting to get expertise or you want to do that is some you doing something for yourself, especially when you're like not in a rush, you know.
it's like really making time. Cause you have to think about it. Look at the, the stuff that you like you're giving your time to. If you have children, if you have a boyfriend or if you have a husband or you know what I mean? You have to you you're out, you're constantly making time. Hopefully you're making time for them. So you have to make where you making fitting time for yourself, you know? Don't like you can't pour from an empty cup. So hopefully you're making as much time for yourself as you're making for others. But it's just kinda important, you know? For sure. It's just so important hey guys so this is the final look i again i'm heading into work so i'm like in a rush and i know i'm gonna be work. i'm gonna work on these i'm gonna definitely be working on like being better at like posting of course <laughs> and then of course of like putting my looks together because it's just been like a chit chat and i'm like all right i'm about to go out the door because you know this hybrid model i'm trying to get used to it but guys thank you so much for watching if you are not subscribed subscribe because it's a chit chat it's a community this is like a great space to be in i love you guys and those who are supporting me i appreciate you guys so much so join in on the fam because we're here i'm an everyday woman i go to work <laughs> and i have a youtube channel and i do little different things so hopefully you'll find a space here for you too that we can chat and stuff like that but until next time see you guys later bye